think for me, it's just weird because I couldn't show you this place on a map last year. You know, this is completely in a part of the world I don't even know. It's hard to explain to my friends, my family. The time out, the time difference is like nine hours. So it just feels surreal. Like, how, how did I end up here? How did some kid from Woodville, Washington get here? It feels like when I'm over here, like I'm missing out on a lot of life. You know, the only interactions you really get with family and friends back home is through FaceTime. Um, but I found ways to kind of navigate it and still be there for my friends, be there for my family. But it's hard, especially right now with my fiance. Um, because of her visa, she was only able to be here for three months. It's tough because like the reason I'm doing this, the reason I play professional basketball is to build a future for my family. They're my wife, my, my fiance is my wife. I want to build a, an amazing life with her. And so, man, it is hard, it is hard. I think that's the best way I can explain it. It's just very difficult, very hard, hard to navigate the emotions because, yeah, you're just not there with the people that you really, really care about. So it's tough. Looks like it should be. We good. Alright, so a little recovery day workout. Normally what we do on a recovery day is first we do some mobility, some stretching. It'll be a light, a super light lift to get some blood flow. A little bit of a bike workout to again refresh the legs, get some form shooting and, and call it good. So Let's get to it. Yeah. Yeah. Elevated pigeon stretch. This really gets your kind of like glutes, outside hip. Hold that probably about 15 seconds. Favorite mobility recovery stretch. It's called the couch stretch. Please make fun of me a little bit because I do this every morning for practice. It's gonna be hip flexors, so ass, and all those internal muscles of the hip. Find something to balance on, physio ball. Inside, try and keep in this knee in this stable position. Head mill, wake up your knees, your patellas. Try and get it so your foot's really going behind your knee, extending all the way out until it tracks through that full range of motion. I started doing these after I had uh, my MCL. Really good for knee stability. Bro, I honestly think the coffee out here is top three things about playing basketball in Europe. It's, it's just better coffee all the time. How am I supposed to eat this croissant and just attack it? That's a 
こなすよ<笑>こなすよ We don't get a lot of time together, but when we're together, like we're having a good time. We're super, we're super similar to an extent. Like she used to not be very social, and now she, all, all she does is be super social and she hangs out with everybody. So it's funny too when we hang out in groups. Like me and her always like razz on each other, like going at each other, and we're like the same size. So like sometimes we're like I'll like punch her in the shoulder. She'll like punch me back. I'm like. Uh, that kind of hurt. <laughs> like, chill out. I'll, I'll never forget too, bro. It was, I think it was my first year back from college. We went and played like, I was back for winter break and we played on this mini hoop. We were playing one-on-one, -on -one, me and my sister. And she, and we were like going slow, it was like the, the hoop was low. And then she put a shoulder in my chest and dunked it on me. And I looked her straight in the face with like, Hey, you ever do that again, like, we're fighting immediately, like, don't ever do that shit. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, she's, she's so athletic, she doesn't even know her athleticism sometimes, and that's when I knew, like, she's not my little sister, I, I gotta put her in her place sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you gotta put her in her place. <laughs> no, but I definitely miss her a lot, too. It's, it's kind of nice, though, like, we're both in the same... You know, time zone right now, she's in France and I'm over here and it's weird like to have two siblings from the same family both play professional sports, especially from like where I'm from, like where we're from, like we're like the first, the first to ever do anything like that, so the, Dre the Drexel bloodline is, is strong, it's strong, so, nah, but I miss her a lot for sure, for sure. I'm recording this to give inspiration to the next generation to tell my story and to kind of give insight into what basketball is like at a high high level and real intimate real raw real life of a professional basketball player and and so the next generation can see if this is something they want if this is something they can aspire to and hopefully I can give them something that can help make their journey a little better. I think what's most important for me is that my life is not defined by playing basketball, like that I can have an impact beyond that. And if that means that I can help the next generation of kids, of athletes going through their experiences that they have someone that they can kind of look to for uh, guidance or motivation or kind of just help with the whole journey so that their emotions don't get as intense as mine were and that they can be more present in their moments. You're, you're putting it How are we doing, bro? <laughs> we're maneuvering, not at a high level, but we're maneuvering eight or for had to. That was the move. That was the play. Give me an ox. Octon. I have uh, I have a sheep. I want to have the uh, I have a sheep. I have a sheep too. What do you um, get? Um I'm giving a wheat and a brick. Me. Oh, oh my I hand's said, been I out said the whole me. Time. No, his hand's been out. That's crazy. And I know. And you're I, giving two cards off rip. Sasha's on it again. Here, here she goes again. Okay. Uh yeah. Sounds about right. Anyways. It's just you know so many haters. There, go. there, there goes our marriage. <laughs> How's that look? How's that look? You tell me two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> this guy. Ah! Is this his first win? Of tonight. Oh, okay, run that shit back. We needed this cover all today. I was competing. <laughs> I was competing. Just saying, I was competing. Two, four. What did you have? I have ten. I was at eight before you took my longest rows, so I was competing. Before and I had they were competing. Hey, before you took the longest row, you ended with six. <laughs> you didn't even get half. You didn't even have. So the game owners should make the rule up. The the home court advantage. There's no such thing. Okay, so we shouldn't play here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna want to move. Like, yeah, let's move everything as is to my crib. Okay. <laughs> 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 
help me look it up, bro. You're just over there trying to make a rule. No, nah, let's make a rule. Is not the case. Make a rule. Is not the case. Let me just leave it here and pick a card of my choice. Let me. Okay, let's Fair, not make a rule. compromise. You can't compromise in Catan. He's just doing that to me because I'm not uh, able to speak that good English, you know. Oh, and I don't know what's on the it's, cards. It's a race yeah, thing. Like, it's a race yeah, thing. Yeah, I know it that. Is, it is. Would that be considered a race thing, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you go for the race card? <laughs> yeah, like German? Culture. Culture, not thing. race. I don't know. I, I had <laughs> to take it there it. immediately. Oh, shit. It's you got some. You got something to say. You got something to say. This is this is energy we, we, we live for right here. This is this is why we play. I wouldn't want my friends to come over and us to be half ass in this game. Eleven. No, it'll 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 go. Oh well, damn, that was tough. It'll go. Shit. It'll go. <laughs> shit. Foot on there. Foot. Fine. How are we looking? He meant nothing for me. Yeah, Fritz. <laughs> like, look at that! Look at how deflex immediately. And this I mean, one, I agree. I agree. I agree. Like you, you have to. Like, that he was, was in this. No, I wouldn't even say Fritz. I'd say he was in the doghouse. That that's enough to distract any man. Respect. Yeah. What is this? Boom. Gamer. No, this one I don't feel great about. I don't feel great. Why? I need you to not argue. With your girlfriend while we're playing. Freaking goner. Just. Dub. It's a dub. What it do, baby? There's no words. I'm excited how he's gonna like blend it all together too. Mm -hmm. So ready? Yeah. Actually doesn't hurt at all. Doesn't it? Nah. Your tattoo gun is quiet too. Yeah, of course. I, I hate the old guns. Because of noise. There's no way they miss me. Yeah. Who knows when that'll be, but won't complain. Cause in the meantime, these niggas is popping off at the hip like it's Call of Duty. These kids losing their life like niggas in horror movies. It's like every morning you wake, you seeing somebody didn't. Cycle is crazy, the pill popping and lean sipping. How do we done it? I pray my niggas don't die from it. I pray they mama never cry from it. That's like two in the city this week. They hating they hard, got the you ready to squeeze. Yeah, living the truth, the dying a lie. Got in the web and the tide. These just opinions of mine. Yeah, I got little patience and less time. You can open up my mind and see all of it rhymes. I still shed light on the darkest of times. They hard cold, but that shit ain't as frozen as mine. And if I made it to the top, the hand down. Just a little bit. I hear some, some breathing. Some breathing, yeah. <laughs> Open my eyes, all I see is targets, fake killers, but niggas harmless. And my entire red carpet, one smoke like I know Arton. Red wine while I assess the market. I've been that since we was doing my part. Don't you get me started? Top shot to popping off at the cartridge, loaded, sparked it. I got niggas from the zoo like Jordan Clarkson. City flats to mansion apartments. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh. I step back like Carter and I'm falling forward. Still seeing through the dark. What would you tell your younger self? I would just tell him to enjoy the moments. It sounds cliche, but everything moves so fast, and everything feels so intense, that a lot of times the moment gets bigger than it actually is, and the emotions get heavier than they need to be to the point that you don't actually get the full experience. So I would tell him, enjoy it. Make sure joy is at the center of everything you're doing because you'll look back and you'll romanticize those NYBA games. You'll romanticize those Cedar Park Christian high school basketball games with your best friends in the student section and you're playing with your best friends every night and 
having sleepovers the night before games. And man, those moments in college when you're injured and you're thinking this is all over and, and you look back at it now and, and you'll understand that every experience, every moment, it was preparing you for the next moment. And when you think like that, like everything is not so intense and you're able to be more present in the moment. You're gonna look back and you're you're gonna you're gonna hope and you're gonna treasure the moments that you were the most centered and the most present. So.